If you've got a USB mic like this Yeti here, doesn't have to be a Yeti USB mic, could be any USB mic, and you want to connect it to either your, your iPad or even your iPhone, I'm going to show you how to do that and get great sounding audio. Now in this video, we're only covering USB mics, but if you've got an XLR mic and that's a mic with one of these fancy plugs, I've already covered that in another video, and I'll put a link up here and also in the description below. Anyway, for those of you with a USB mic, let's get to it. So we've got our USB mic, and like I said, I'm using this Yeti USB mic to demonstrate, but it could be any USB mic, and we want to connect it to either an iPad or an iPhone. Maybe you want to do Zoom or video calls from your mobile device, but you still want decent audio. In fact, set this up right, like I'm going to show you, and your audio is going to be first rate. You could even podcast. The quality is going to be that good. Now, to do this, we're going to need an adapter. If your device, your iPad or your iPhone, it's got a lightning port, like most of them do, you're going to need an adapter like this. And again, I'll link to it below. But if you've got money to burn and you've got one of those fancy iPad Pros, then you're going to need a slightly different adapter. Because this doesn't have a lightning port, it's got a USB-C style port. You've just got to love how Apple chops and changes things. Anyway, before we set this up, I just want to mention a couple of things about both of these adapters. These, the ones that I recommend, they are the genuine Apple ones. And yes, I know they're Apple and I know they're way overpriced. And yes, it hurts to overpay for anything. But the cheaper ones, and I have tried quite a few of them, I found them to be pretty unreliable. So in the big scheme of things, dropping an extra couple of bucks for something that's reliable, at least in my opinion, is money well spent. And the second thing, and again, you don't want to be scrimping here, you want the adapters with the extra charging socket because the mic is going to draw power off your device to power it. And the last thing you want is your, your phone or your iPad dying right in the middle of your Zoom call or your podcast. So spend the extra few dollars and get the right one, the one with the charging port. Now, there could be some phones, some iPads, older ones, that have a problem, even with the charging cable plugged in. They just don't have enough power to run the mic. Now, this is rare, but if you stick around till the end of this video, I'll show you how to fix this. It's actually pretty easy. Anyway, let's get this set up. So we've got our mic, we've got our adapter, and we've got our device, our iPhone or iPad. All we have to do is plug the adapter into our device, attach the charging cable, and plug our mic in. I'll open up the voice recording app on my iPad and press record. You can see, as I'm talking, you can see the levels. You can see the audio being recorded. And with the wonders of editing, here's what it sounded like. You can see, as I'm talking, you can see the levels. You can see the audio being recorded. And with the wonders of editing, here's what it sounded like. That's not bad. Perfectly fine for doing a Zoom call or even recording a podcast while you're traveling. And it works just as well on the iPhone as it does on the iPad. Now, I mentioned earlier on that some devices, older iPhones, older iPads, they can have power issues. They just don't provide enough juice to power the mic. But there's a real simple fix to this. What you need is one of these little powered USB hubs. Now, it's got to be mains powered. In other words, it should have a plug that you push into your mains power. All you've got to do is plug your hub into the mains power, connect the USB cable from the hub into your adapter, and then plug in your mic into the USB hub. The hub is now supplying the power and this will run any USB mic. Your device is getting the power from the hub and not from your iPhone or your iPad. So there you go. That's how easy it is to plug a USB mic into your iPhone or your iPad. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please let me know in the comments. Oh, hit the like button. So until next time, bye for now.